So when I got the call to say, when are you coming out to Under Armour headquarters again? I was just like, I wanted to jump at the opportunity. Here is like a really good hub for great training, very diverse training, which is what I do. It's multi-sport, it's multifaceted, ranges of different things all accumulating to this one competition that could be weightlifting, it could be athletics, it could be running, it could be riding, swimming. It's all these things and Under Armour HQ has pretty much got everything that I could possibly need and want. Um, and I've got great minds here too, like the coaches that are here that are helping me out. I couldn't pass that opportunity up. It was too crucial, you know, at the end of the day, we can increase by one or two percent. That's the difference between coming 10th and coming fifth. So really we're, we're trying to build a system for our athletes. So we're trying to seek excellence through performance and mastery. We want to profile our athletes. We want to understand them. So we want to understand them from their cognition, their brain speed, their sensory performance. What's their visual clarity? How do they see sort of contrast sensitivity? What's their depth perception? Like really valuable and really important to us is movement efficiency. We want to understand how an, how an athlete moves first and foremost. Are they efficient within that movement? We want to profile their power, their strength, their speed. We want to have a look at their readiness. I can pull protocols from Fusionetics that we test here to make sure I'm moving optimally before I go and hit a really hard workout where I'm working out intensely. So you want to try and minimize the amount of thought process. You know, I think for every athlete, when you find your flow, it's this sense of I'm working out, I'm training or I'm competing and I'm doing it so well, I don't even realize that I'm doing it. It's like you wake up and you're finished and you're just like, wow, I nailed that. I can actually accelerate or enhance the amount of times that I can get into that flow state by visualization. And now that I've been to the CrossFit Games, this will be my fourth games. I've been there three times before. I already know how it's gonna sound. I know how it's gonna feel. I know what the temperature is like. I know what it's gonna smell like. I know what the workouts are gonna feel like. So I can take all of those experiences that I've taken over the course of the last eight years of training and competing in CrossFit itself, and I can replicate that. I haven't been to the games three times. I've been to the games 150 times. Everyone's journey really is individual and we just want to make sure that when we assess or, or profile any of our athletes that we have a real deep understanding of these people because athletes go through many, many training cycles and they don't always show up as the same person when you see them. So when we saw James last time to this time, he's invested in tons and tons of training hours. We want to make sure that when the athlete comes through the door that we understand them as they present to us that day. So if we were to look at prep, training and recovery all as integral parts of becoming a better athlete, I would say recovery, to be honest, is the most important. For me, it's about speeding recovery, getting back to training, getting back to training optimally, not stressing myself so much that I get sick or I get injured. It's about balancing the working out with the working in so I can get back to working out so then when I when it becomes time to compete I'm at my peak and then I can give my best effort and at the end of the day if I can do that and I can give my best effort I'll be happy with my result regardless of where I sit on the leaderboard. Everything that I do as an elite athlete does not change from someone wanting to be a healthy person. It's just the degree that I take it is slightly 
more compulsive. For me, it's about speeding recovery, getting back to training, getting back to training optimally, not stressing myself so much that I get sick or I get injured. It's about balancing the working out with the working in so I can get back to working out. So then when, I, when it becomes time to compete, I'm at my peak and then I can give my best effort. And at the end of the day, if I can do that and I can give my best effort, I'll be happy with my result regardless of where I sit on the leaderboard. I do not ever want to be known as my defining, my defining character as being a good CrossFit athlete. I would rather be known for making an impact on somebody else's life. And for me, the best way I can do that is by creating an experience through training, pushing my own limits, and it's just education. We don't know, if we can push the limits on something, we're exploring unknown territory. And if I can do that, then I can express and educate as many people as I possibly can for the short time I'm on this planet.